In this film series, we look into five Celtic port towns that are connected and intertwined by the ferry routes that serve them. To get to know the landscape and the history, we hear from the people in the know. We meet up with five local characters, park warden and runner, Will, local historian, Gareth, sea kayaker, Ayla, and RNLI legends, Tony and Kiri. We hear of their passion for heritage and how their love of the place they call home is shaping the future. Welcome to Ports Past and Present, Hollyhead. The ma the Krakagabi. Mae yna olion y fyma o hanner cant o dau crynion. Mae nhw wedi cael pobl yn byw yn nhw ers fil o flynyddodd, um, bron yn fi dor. Ond mae yna olion ar y safle yma yn dyn ôl llawer, llawer pellach. Mae yna olion yn mynd yn ôl um, tair mil o flynyddodd i'r oes efydd. Ond ar ein gwybod lawr y lôn just i'r dde hon yma fi yma, um, mi o'n y waith copr. A mae yna rhyw syniad o the pobl oedd yn byw o fy yma hefyd efo cysylltiad efo'r gwaith copr. Mi oedd y gwaith copr i ben, a roedd dda oes efydd i ben. Os da chi'n spio allan um, tyn ôl i mi, mi welwch chi brynia wiclo yn werddon. Da chi'n spio i'r chwith, da chi'n sgweld eryri um, a, a mynyddodd Cymru yn fanna. Mae o'n le, braf, arbennig ac yn edrych yn edrychon iawn. Da ni'n gwybod o'r olion yma, bod na bobl wedi byw yma 500 mlynedd cyn Crist, a da ni'n gwybod bod nhw dal i fyw yma 500 wedi Crist. O dyna chi'r mil o flynyddodd um, o bobl yn byw yma i gilydd. Mae'r adilad sy'n ôl i ni yn mynd yn ôl i'r trydydd gan ni fel ddeg, petwyr gan ni fel ddeg, dim hwn ydy yr union, ond ar y fan yma, dyma lle oedd, a dan ni'n mae'r eglws yn dal i cynnabod fel eglws sant cybi, yr nawdd sant cair gybi. Tyn ôl i mi fan hyn mae um, cartra, Captain Skinner, a da ni wedi sôn amdan y fo, mae o yn, yn, yn ffigwr en amlwg yn y dre. Um, o wedi colli lygad pan oedd o yn blentyn, ac wedyn yn y frwydra um, a'n i byniaeth America, um, mi gollodd ei fraich hefyd. Felly, um, ar ôl hynny, mi o'r ffennodd i yrfa yn y llynges, ond mi ddoedd o i gael gybu i weithio fel captain ar y llonga y post. Oedd o'n uh, ddyn diddorol, ddoedd o'n gyrraedd o gigfran fel um, uh, anifal anwes. Ac oedd o'n cerdded y gwpas y dre yma efo'r cigfran. Fe oedd o'n sa'ch chi'n meddwl bod mor ladro yn cario peiro, uh, pa, uh, parot. Mi oedd um, uh, Skinner yn cario yr uh, uh, cigfran. The park, it started life as a quarry and the reason why a quarry was needed was to provide foundation rubble for the Hollyhead breakwater and 7 million tonnes of rock were taken from here to provide the foundation rubble for the Hollyhead breakwater. It was derelict for a while and then there was a local initiative to create a country park. I think running enables you to see things, to feel things, to know things. This is a great location for running. This route is very special on the Afurter Kreipjog, the rocky coast. Uh, what's so special about it? Wow, the view. Look at the view. The view of the breakwater is stunning. You can see the shape of it and the sheer enormity of it, the sheer magnitude of it, the, the work that went into it, that never ever escapes you.
I lived very much the same streets for about 50 years. I'm a Hollyhead boy through and through. Living in Waterside area where I came from, you tended to know everything about the, the lifeboats and those that were on the crew. And living in the street, you tended to know that there was chaps when the maroons went off. You know, you'd see them coming out of the houses and running down the street and things. So I'd been brought up with all that. But when I was in the fishing, I had an angling party out at sea here and I got caught in my own anchor warp, pulled over the side, and it was only purely luck that I actually survived because a chappy passed me a knife just as I was going into the sea. But a couple of weeks after that, it really did make me take stock of everything and who would have come to get me. And I went to the local lifeboat station and I offered my services then. And I had the full-time working for the RNLI's coxswain's position here in 2016. And when I see the youngsters coming in here now and I see that passion, it does mean you know, it really means it to me to see them coming in and I think, ideal, I can hang up my boots, you know, it's, it's, I can move on now, you know, it's very good. I think what I'm passionate about is the buzz you get from saving a life, so you'll come back and if you get that person ashore safe, you feel fulfilled. When I wasn't joining, I could be lying in bed and I didn't know somebody was out fearing for their life. Now I can actually act on that because I'm part of the crew. It definitely feels special to be a part of the story. I look back at what people have done over the years and I have so much respect for what people have done in the past and I feel very privileged to be in the position that I am now where I can start making my own history. Hollyhead is the jewel of Anglesey, of UK sea kayaking. We've got some really spectacular and unique seas around here and lots of tidal races. And with some of that against various conditions, wind or some swell, can produce some pretty big seas. I've got a massive love for sea kayaking and you never quite know what you're gonna get out there. So excitement, anticipation, buzz, Ah, yes, it's all there. Hollyhead Coast Guard, just to advise, I am one single sea kayak heading out from Port Davach through the stacks back into Hollyhead Harbour. Over. Sea kayak Bolivar, this is Hollyhead Coast Guard. Many thanks for that, that ma'am. Have a good paddle, and we'll speak to you at 2200 uh, Hollyhead uh, out. So when I'm on a kayak, you're right down at that level of the seawater. It is a fantastic way to see wildlife. We have porpoise, we have dolphins, we've got some fantastic bird life, the guillemots, the razorbills, puffins, gannets, sheer water. We're guests in their environment, which is a very, very special place to be. Stack, in my opinion, is probably the most spectacular lighthouse. It's just incredible. Look up in awe at this incredible white lighthouse that always seems to be fresh and white and bright. It is absolutely beautiful. The cliffs, the little skerries you have, the rocks that jet out, the height. Every single time I paddle to or from South Stack, my heart will absolutely leap. Hi, good evening, Hollyhead Coast Guard. Just to advise, I'm back in Hollyhead, off the water. Over. Hollyhead Coast Guard, Roger, many thanks.
mae lot o canol y dre wedi newid, mae'r ffordd o weithio wedi newid, um, ond mae'r bobl yn dal y rhyfath. Pobl siwr tora yng Nghymru ydy'r pobl sydd yn gwneud i chi, sydd yn helpu chi, sydd yn helpu allan, sydd yn dall i gilydd, a dyna beth sydd yn, 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 yn mor arbennig am y dre yma. I used to love hearing the sound of the trains going in and out of the town. It reminded me of travel, people going places, people coming here for a visit. There's a sense of things happening. You feel connected with the rest of the world. To somebody who's never been, Hollyhead's a community. It's people welcoming you, people supporting you, people coming together. And then it's a beautiful place. Hollyhead's much more than a place just to jump through on your way to Ireland. But just step outside of that. You know, instead of turning right, go straight on and you'll come to the sea. You'll come to the lifeboat station, you'll come to the harbour, and you're unlocking those wonderful little secrets that Hollyhead hides. When you come in from sea, you, you see the town nestled underneath the mountain. It's got absolutely everything. It's a complete and utter gem. <laughs>